Well, we're joined by Ravi Singh, founder and CEO of the charity Khalsa Aid. Now, you have teams on the ground in Kerala. They're helping out with the rescue efforts. What are you hearing from them? Well, the team is absolutely shocked at the level of devastation by the floods. And I think they've worked in many different areas uh, in India and neighbouring countries after the Nepal earthquake. And uh, they said they've seen nothing like this before ever. It's, it's absolutely shocking. And uh, they're not really sure where to begin. So they started doing the hot meals. And obviously we're going to be expanding our projects, uh, um, um, operations. But at the moment, uh, they are really absolutely taken back by the scale of the floods. It's something we underestimated. Normally we react very fast. And I personally thought it was a smaller level and locals are dealing with it. It's actually immense and death toll will go up. That is devastating because already in Kerala, 300 people are believed to have been killed, 900 across the country. This, Kerala especially, this is an area that is used to monsoons. How does this compare then? I think uh, if you can imagine the nickname for Kerala is a God's own country. It's a beautiful place and devastated. So they expect monsoons like we always do in the region, in the, in the country, but not this level. It's like non-stop rain. And now they're forecasting more rain, which is even more devastating. So we have to now warn our own teams as well that not to be cut off or stranded when they're reaching to those affected. So it it's really has devastated the region and shocked the country. I think India is in shock at the level of uh, the scale of the floods. Absolutely, understandably. How kind, when, when you go down there, you say your team started with the hot foods, what kind of government interaction do you have as well? What support do you have from them? Well, the government, we're going to be approaching the local uh, military uh, working in the area tomorrow morning. But what I heard is they're doing a good job of providing helicopters and trying to reach the most cut-off points. There are people, uh, you know, messaging me uh, on my social media, giving me names and addresses and phone numbers of people, their family members, who are stranded uh, in, in the smaller towns and cities in Kerala. But I can't do anything, we can't do anything. It's, it is heartbreaking. So the military, the government, I think they're all trying to do what they can, but the level, the scale of devastation is shocking. So even for them, it's going to be a huge challenge, and that's why we need all hands on deck. There will be so many people displaced. Where do, what kind of areas do they get moved to to get out of this situation, out of this flood water? Uh, our volunteers are now feeding three centres, uh, what they call the temporary shelters for displaced. Uh, universities, colleges, school, any big building has become a shelter for the displaced in towns and cities. So it's wherever they can find shelter. And it's uh, basically safety in numbers. So a lot of people are sticking in one place and not going anywhere because they know eventually help will arrive. So if you look at my social media, uh, I had a tweet saying, we got 7,000 people in this football stadium. Can you uh, please send water? Water is urgently required because the flood level and the scale of floods, uh, there is a huge water shortage. Everything's polluted by dirty water. So anything and everywhere where there's room, people are absolutely um, taking shelter. But also we're sending a rescue team, which means recovering bodies, which is the, the worst part of this job. And so we got an amazing volunteer base in India and Punjab and they're going into the region. So I do pray for them um, because they're going to be doing a very, very tough uh, uh, job of rescuing or salvaging or bringing the body back home. Yes, of course. It must be very traumatic for the rescuers as well. We wish your team the best of luck. Ravi Singh, uh, good luck with the charity Kalsa Aid. Good luck with all that you're doing. Thank, Thank you so you much so for much. taking time Thank out you. to speak to us. Thank you.